What's up anglers? Welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. In this video, we're finally gonna go over the best budget fly reels on the market this year. It's about time. You guys asked for it, well here it is. Before we get started, let's talk about budget fly reels for a second. Gone are the days when budget fly reels are nothing more but absolute pieces of shit. These days you can get a pretty decent reel without spending more than a hundred bucks. And that's what this list is all about. In fact, most of the reels on this list come in at under $50. As always, myself and the team of fly fishing guides here at Into Fly Fishing has purchased every single one of these reels to review, test, and compare them here on the channel. So let's talk about how we reviewed and tested these reels. For every single one of the reels on this list, myself or one of the team guides here at Into Fly Fishing spooled the reel up and headed out on the river for at least a few days of fishing. In most cases, we've fished these reels for years and we were comparing and testing them against each other back to back to see how smooth the drags are, their overall weight, how they balance different fly rods and how they work in different fly fishing situations. If you wanna see individual reviews of every single one of these reels, check the links in the description down down below. Even though they're budget reels, when you buy this many to test and compare, it does get a little bit expensive. All I ask is that you give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you can help us to keep on making videos like this one. Also, if you could use the links in the video descriptions down below here on the channel, those are all affiliate links so they do help to keep this channel running. You're a sellout! I'm not a sellout! Lastly, I know myself and the team have probably missed a few reels. If you have a budget reel that we've missed, comment below and let us know. But please don't cyber attack us about missing it. We've done our best here. We've purchased dozens of fly reels to narrow down this list. So either we didn't think your reel was worth it or we didn't have time to test it. While we're on about comment trolls, let's talk a little bit about reels from China. China? China. Just like when we did our best budget fly rods video, there will be some reels made in China here on the list. In fact, almost all of our favorite fly fishing gear manufacturers make some of their reels or at least much of their componentry in China. If you don't like buying anything from China, I recommend buying an aluminum press or a 3D printer and starting your own fly reel company because it's pretty hard to find any reels these days, especially budget fly reels that aren't made at least partially in China. Sorry to burst your bubble. Okay, so let's move on. Before we get into the list, let's talk about what you wanna look for in a fly reel before you go out and buy one. If you're shopping for a budget reel, it's likely that you're pretty new to the sport or you're looking for a cheap backup reel or you've just realized that spending thousands of dollars on fly fishing gear doesn't actually help you to catch more fish. Mind's blown, you're welcome. Whatever the case, when you're looking for a good reel, you wanna check a few main things. The overall weight. The overall weight of a fly reel will affect its balance on your rod. For myself, I like my reels to be as light as possible. In the budget category, this will be hard to do, but if you can get a five weight reel that's under five ounces in this category, then you're doing pretty well. The material. If you're being picky, you'll wanna look for a machined aluminum reel as opposed to a die cast or composite frame. Machined aluminum basically comes from one big chunk of bar stock and typically makes the reel more durable. The weight. I'm not talking overall weight this time, which is how heavy the physical reel is in your hand, but the weight that the reel is classified for. So you'll wanna match the weight of the reel to whatever rod you buy. So if you get a five weight rod, you'll wanna get a five weight reel or a four five weight reel or a five six weight reel, depending on how the manufacturer classifies their reel weights. There are nuances to this rule, but for the sake of this video about budget fly reels, let's just say that you should always match the two. Line capacity. This is how much line and backing can fit on the spool. If you're fishing for smaller game like trout and panfish, this really won't matter because almost every reel on this list can fit 100 yards of backing and you'll never get that stripped out of your reel by a smaller species like that. But if you're going saltwater, you'll want a reel that can hold enough line and backing that you won't get stripped out by bonefish or tarpon. Drag. The components of a drag can have a massive effect on its overall durability. Drags made from Teflon and stainless steel or cork are the norm and tend to be high quality. If you're fishing in salt, you'll want to make sure you get a fully sealed drag. Line retrieval. This is directly related to the spool diameter and arbor size. Basically, how much line is retrieved with every rotation of the reel. Again, if you're going for smaller trout or panfish, this won't matter that much, but for bigger game, you'll typically want a large arbor reel with a quicker retrieve rate. Okay, so now that you know what to look for in a reel, let's get into this list of the best budget fly reels available this year. Number one on the list is the Max Catch Eco. 
The Max Catch Eco offers incredible value for the money and it's incredibly cheap. Its frame is constructed with a die cast aluminum and then polished. The reel is finished with either silver, black or rainbow trout finish, whatever that means. Uh, I would opt for either the silver or the black finish because the rainbow trout finish looks more like an 80s disco outfit than a real trout. I don't know what I'm looking at. The reel is perfect for a beginner. It has ample stopping power for most freshwater species. The backing capacity is 60 yards for an equivalent six weight model, which is fine for normal freshwater species. I would recommend this reel to a newcomer to the sport or someone who only fishes a couple times a season or someone who just wants a cheap backup reel. Number two on this list is the Orvis Clearwater. I've had plenty of Orvis Clearwaters over the years and I still love this reel. The Orvis Clearwater is die cast constructed and finished with a matte gray powder coat finish. It has a large arbor and good backing carrying capacity. The Clearwater is available in two sizes, the LA2 for four, five, and six weight rods, and the LA5 for seven, eight, and nine weight rods. Although as indicated by Orvis, it is capable of balancing a nine weight rod if you're hooking this reel up to a saltwater rod, but I wouldn't recommend exposing the reel to excessive saltwater use. The drag is strong and more than adequate for most freshwater species. Uh, this is an excellent budget fly reel to serve you dependably for many years. Next up is another Orvis reel, the Orvis Batten Kill. Orvis comes back to back on this list with another great reel. The Orvis Batten Kill fly reel reminds me of one of those first reels that I got when I was a kid. It has this really classic retro style, but still has some decent componentry and of course the Orvis name behind it. Like with the Orvis Clearwater, with the Batten Kill, you get a lifetime warranty against defects in materials and workmanship. And for $30, you can send this reel into Orvis to repair it or give it a good tune up. If you like a reel with a retro look and you want to have a well-made reel that harkens back to the days of a river runs through it, then this reel is for you. With all the fish in the river. Next up is the Reddington Behemoth. Many of the anglers here on Into Fly Fishing's YouTube channel have had this Reddington Behemoth fly reel. We've had it in different weights and we love this reel. For the beginner saltwater angler who's looking for the best high value, low cost reel, the Reddington Behemoth has you covered. The reel is available in five sizes from a four five weight model all the way up to an 11, 12 weight beast. For more individuality, it also comes in black, gunmetal, desert, green, and hunter orange colors. It's made out of die cast aluminum, but you'll find that for its size, it's slightly heavier than most other reels on this list. But for the price and performance, the weight penalty is negligible. On some of the reels that I've tested, the drag knob and reel felt a little bit wobbly, but if this happens to you, you can send it into Reddington to get a repair. Next up on this list is number five, the Sage Spectrum C. No, this fly reel does not feel nearly as high quality as their LT models or their Spectrum Maxes, but it is a beautiful little reel. It's made with a die cast construction and it's light in hand and I love the drag system on it. It's a great reel. I've used it quite a bit over the past two seasons of fly fishing and we have other anglers here on the team who have used it extensively as well. And we all think that it's a good reel and also you get the Sage name behind it, which as far as reels go, it might not be the top name in the business, but as far as fly fishing gear overall, Sage is definitely up there as one of the most respected brands in the industry. They create some great products and the Sage Spectrum C is no different. Next up is the Reddington Crosswater Fly Reel. Again, we've reviewed and compared all the different weights of the Reddington Crosswater Fly Reel extensively. We've fished this thing in small streams and big rivers for bass and trout. It may not be the most durable reel on this list, but with a name like Reddington backing it, it's definitely worth the money. We found that the drag was really strong and it's strong enough for smaller bass, even in the four, five, six weight. So I have no doubt that the larger seven, eight, nine weight could easily handle some large freshwater species or smaller saltwater species. We did fish it with large freshwater species, but didn't hit it up for some big like tarpon or anything like that. Next up on the list is number seven, the Pasifun Sword. The Pasifun Sword is a great little reel. It's long been one of the best reviewed reels on Amazon. So if you don't hate the idea of ordering some of your fly fishing gear on Amazon, this is probably the best one you can get on the platform. It's cheap, it's well-made, it's made with machined aluminum. Uh, it's pretty light for the size and I actually really love this reel and so does Danny. He has a couple of weights of it as well and it's just a great reel and definitely something that had to make the list of the best budget fly reels this year. Next up is number eight, the Temple Fork Outfitters NTR Series 1 Fly Reel. 
Uh, after fishing the TFO NTR Series 1 fly reel for months now, we wouldn't hesitate to recommend it as one of the best budget fly reels available this year. The drag is super strong, the retrieve is smooth, it's fully sealed and has a great design, plus it's made by TFO, which is one of the best brands in the budget to mid-range fly fishing gear category. If you're looking to go after trout, panfish or small bass, then the smaller four weight will be your tool of choice. But with sizes going all the way up to a 10 weight and with that sealed drag, you could pretty much tackle any smaller saltwater species with this reel as well. It's not the cheapest reel on the list, but it is a great piece of kit. All right, that brings us to number nine on this list of the best budget fly reels, and that is the Echo Base Fly Reel. The Echo Base Fly Reel has long been one of the steadfast members on the Best Budget Fly Reel Club. Echo makes some great rods and reels at low prices, and their base is no exception. You get decent build quality, a strong drag, and a pretty high quality reel for a very affordable price with the Echo Base Fly Reel. We fished this thing in almost every weight they have on the market and we fished it for over two years and all these reels are still going strong. The Echo Base has a composite frame, which is a very nice way of saying it's plastic, but just like the Orvis and Counterfly reel, which we've also reviewed here on the channel, this thing's built to last and that plastic will never rust or lose its coating, which is a definite bonus. Number 10 on this list is the Max Catch Avid. I've had my Max Catch Avid fly reel for over five years now, and it's easily one of my favorite budget fly reels. The reason that it didn't make the number one spot on this list is just because I think that when people are looking for a budget fly reel, oftentimes they really wanna spend the least amount possible and get the cheapest of cheap. Unlike their fly rods, Max Catch doesn't really have a huge gap between their top of the line reels and their bargain basement fly reels in terms of build quality and durability. For this reason, I've left the Avid at the bottom of this list and kept the Eco up at the top. If you're in the market for a full fly fishing combo, then I do recommend upgrading to their Max Catch Premier Combo Kit because you'll get a much better rod for that price and it also comes with a slightly better Avid fly reel. Definitely worth the money in that case. So that's it guys, that's our list of the best budget fly reels available this year. Man, that took forever. As always, there are links to purchase every single one of these reels in the description down below. If you guys could give the video a like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Like I said, we're spending a lot of money. Clearly, you're not a baller. And that's not why we're doing this. We really are just trying to produce the best fly fishing gear reviews and tutorials possible online. And we need your guys' help to do that. So we appreciate all of your support over the years. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you on the next video. All right, until next time, tight lines. It's over now?